Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In this video, we will talk about the introduction to statistics. This time, I'm focused not and talk about the three different measurement under central tendency, and that is the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. First, let us define what is mean. Mean is generally the average of a given set of numbers or data. And to get the value of the mean, we have the formula sum of all the, all the values all over the number of values. So for you to understand how to use the mean in this formula, let us have this first example. Suppose a student got the following scores in his five tests. And the scores of those five tests are 75, 80, 85, 90, and 100. And what we have here is that we are asked to find the average score. So when you say average score, it refers to the mean of these test scores. And how do we do that? First, get the value of mean or right here the mean. And in other references, they're using this symbol, x bar. And then sabi dito sa ating formula, that is the sum of the, all the values, meaning we need to add these five numbers we have equal to 75 plus 80 plus 85 plus 90 plus 100 and all over the number of values we need to count the number of items or data that we are adding to we have one two, three, four, and five. And this will be over five. Get a sum of this. When you add this using your calculator or by manual addition, it will give you the answer of 430, then over five. Now, what do you think is the correct answer? Here, the value of the mean or the average is simply what? What do you think is 430 over Five. As you can see, when you divide this by 5, the correct answer is 86. So, meaning if this is the value, the average score of this scores is simply 86. As simple as that. Now let's move on with item number 2. It says here, a person recorded the number of steps they walked over 7 days. So, the number of steps every day. So the steps are 5,000, 6,500, 7,000, 8,000, 7,500, 600, 6,000, and 5,500. Let me adjust this paper for us to get our space. So what we need to do is to use X bar. And in our formula, we need to add all the values, meaning that is equal to 5,000 plus 6,500 plus 7,000. Plus, this is 8,000 plus 7,500 plus 6,000. And lastly, we have 5,500. And for us to get the denominator, we need to count the number of values. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, if we will use your calculator and add in these numbers, you will get x bar is equal to 45,500 and then divided by 7. And when we divide this, the value of the mean or the average number of steps is simply 6,500. So it simply means that the average steps made by a person for seven days is simply 6,500 steps. So in, our, in the next part of the video, we will talk about the median and the mode. Now after the mean, we have here the median. Let us define first what is a median. Median is the middle value of a set of numbers when the numbers are arranged in order from the smallest to largest. So here's a few steps. Here are a few steps on how to find the median. Step one. We need to arrange the numbers in ascending order, 
or pwede namang descending order. Next, step 2. If there is an add number of values, this is the condition, the middle one is the median. Second, if there are even number of values, the average of the two middle numbers is the median. So let's have examples, num example number one and example number two. And as you can see, the first condition here is odd number of values, meaning we have, if the values has a number of one, three, five, seven, like this one, it has five number of values, one, two, three, four, and five, that is an odd number. And here in number two, even number of values. Let's count. One, two, three, four. This is an even number. Okay? So how do we get the median of these numbers? It says here we need to arrange it in ascending order. And I will add up. You can also arrange it in descending order. So let me arrange this in ascending order. We have three first. So by the way, guys, whenever I'm using finding the median or listing it in ascending order. So I'm putting underline or I'm trying to eliminate the number. Let's have three. And then we have the next one is seven. The next is 10. The next is 11. And then we have 12. As you can see, all of these numbers are already arranged. Now, it says here, if there is an odd number of values, the middle one is the median. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And definitely, the middle number is the third number. First, second, and third. And this is our median. Your median is equal to 10. Now, what about example number 2? Example number 2, we have even number of values. So, we need to rearrange it into or in ascending order, we have 4, we have 6, we have 8, and we have 10. And it says here, if there is an even number of values, like this one, the average of the two middle numbers is the median. So we have 4 numbers here, and these are the two middle numbers. Sir, so what do we need to do to get the median? It says there, we need to get the average. We have 6 plus 8. Add them and then divide it by 2. So we have MD or median is equal to 6 plus 8. That is 14 over 2. And as you can see, the correct answer is equal to 7. Meaning the median, sorry, the median of 4, 8, 6 and 10 is simply 7. Okay? Now let's move on with item number 3. It says here, a group of 9 students have the following heights. So based on the given problem, we have here 9 students. And the data of their heights are the following. Meaning, this one is an odd number of values. Now, let's list them out from in ascending order from the smallest to the largest number. So we will start with... Okay, basically, if you will observe, the numbers are already arranged in ascending order. So, if we have 9 students, what do you think is the middle number? So, if there are too many numbers present on the screen, I will try to eliminate the first and the last, the second and this, for us to come up with the middle number. 160, 180, 165, and 175 and as you can see this is the middle number meaning the median of the heights of the nine students is simply 170 so right now we are done with the mean and median and in the next part of the video we will talk about the mode now as for the mode the definition is that mode is the number that appears most often in a set of values so, pag sinabi natin mode, it is more on the frequency that the number or the value appears. So, what we have here is that this one is mode. Let me correct this one. Okay? So, how to find the mode? Look at the list of the numbers. Okay? The next, 
find the numbers that occur, that occur more than once. And lastly, the number that occur, occurs most frequently is the mode. So what we have here is 4, 6, 4, 8, 10. So what do you think is the mode? The mode here is simply 4 because it appears more than the other numbers. It appears twice more than 6. It appears twice more than 8. It appears twice more than 10. So definitely this is the mode. Let's move on with item number 2. The numbers are 2, 5, 7, 5, 2. So what do you think is the mode? As you can see, there are two numbers that appears twice. So meaning the mode are 2 and 5. What does it mean? We have two modes. And in this case, we, we call this kind of mode as by modal. And going back to item number one, since it has one mode, this one is unimodal. Okay? So, as you can see, the most number appears in number one is four. We have single mode, that is unimodal. And in number two, we have two numbers that appears the most, are most frequent compared to seven. And we have two modes, that is the bimode, that is bimodal. And let's have this last example under mode. For number three, it says here, a survey asked 12 people their favorite ice cream flavors. So we have the vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, vanilla, mango, chocolate, vanilla, chocolate, mango, and chocolate. So for us to know the mode of this ice cream flavor, what we need to do is to list down or to tally the number of people who voted for their favorite ice cream flavor. So let's have V, that stands for the vanilla. Let's have C for chocolates. And they have S for strawberry. And we have M for mango. Because we only have, I think, four different flavors. First, person vanilla. We have one. Chocolate, one. Strawberry, one. Next is vanilla, another one. Next, we have chocolate, another one. Next is vanilla, mango, chocolate, vanilla, chocolate, mango, and lastly, we have chocolates. And if you will compare, vanilla has four votes, chocolates have five votes, strawberry has a single vote, while mango has two votes. Meaning, the most frequent or the mode of this ice cream flavor is simply chocolate. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And now we will go with the last part of our video. We will try to summarize our understanding about the mean, median, and mode. So it says here, when we say mean, that is the average. When we say median, that is the middle value. Mode is the most frequent value. Now let us try to find the mean or the average of these scores. Let us use this one for the mean. We have X bar. Add all the numbers, 65, plus 70, plus 85, plus 90, plus 70, plus 95, plus 70, plus 80, plus 75, plus 85. And now, divide this by the number of data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. This is over 10. And if, if you will add up these numbers, it will give us the sum of 785 over 10. And if you will divide 785 divided by 10, your mean or the average is simply 78.5. As simple as that. Now let's move on with the median. As for the median, 
I hope na meron pa rin space dito. For the median naman, let me use this paper. So as for the median, we have MD is equal to arrange this in ascending order. We will start with 65. We have 65 here. Next is 70. We have 1, 2, 3. So we have 70, 70, 70. Next is 80. We have here an 80. So next is 85. We have here 1 and 2. We have 85, 85. Next to that is, oh, by the way, I forgot 75. We have here 75. So I will put it here, 75. Next is 90. We have here 90. And last one is 95. So, to, so this one is an even number of values. So let me eliminate this. Eliminate this. Eliminate this. Eliminate this. And as you can see, what we have here are the two middle numbers, which is 75 and 80. So to guess the median, we will add them 75 plus 80 over 2. And 75 plus 80, that is simply 155 over 2. And what do you think is 155 divided by 2? Okay? What is the answer? The correct answer is what? 150 divided by 2 is what? 75. Then 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, meaning the median of these numbers is 77.5. Okay? So, that's it, guys, for the median. And now let's move on with the mode. As for the mode of this problem, it is simple. Plea, the mode is 70. Why? Because it appears thrice compared to the other number. It is the most frequent number among the given data set. So guys, so in this given data set, the value of the mean is 78.5. The value of the mid-gen is 77.5. And the value of the mode is 70. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to get the mean, mid-gen, and mode of any given ungrouped data set. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!